What up, it's your boy Spencer Lee, and I'm hanging out with Rob on Front Row Live. What's up, guys? Rob here from Live Entertainment. I'm hanging out here at Head in the Clouds with Spence Lee. You. How's it going, man? You've had an incredible past couple of years. Like, for you personally, what do you feel like has been that personal highlight that you've had? Thank you. Um, personal highlight is just really all of it, just the journey today. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, you know, just I've come a long way. I, I dropped my first song in 2016, my first tape, and I'm still doing it, still growing and elevating. Yeah. So. This is the highlight today. Any, any day I could wake up and still make music, still perform music, that's the highlight. For you personally, like, because there's, you know, there's there's trials and tribulations before you actually kind of get heard and listened to, like, by the world. So what do you think has been that that personal, like, challenge that you faced to get to where you're at today? Um, well, shit, like, the majority of my career, I've been independent, you know, and then I just signed a deal with Ear Drummers and 88 Rising last year. Yeah. Um. So, like, you know, it, it was a lot, you know what I'm saying? You gotta fund everything yourself. Yeah. You gotta direct your own things. You gotta make shit happen by yourself and on your own. And But it's a grind that makes you a better person. And as an artist, you gotta be an entrepreneur right. and gotta be like a broad thinker, like somebody who has a global perspective on, on yeah. what we're doing, yeah. Now you're about to drop Spend My Days and this, this is a completely different style sound that you yeah. kind of got we get a little bit uh more of your melodic singing in this as opposed to like the rapping that we're like used to yeah for you personally like coming into this track when you started writing did you know like this was the style and genre that you were gonna like kind of tackle with this with this song or is this something that just kind of like naturally happened for you well this is this is like this is what i really listen to mm. soul music yeah um soul soul samples hip-hop classic stuff I grew up on that, and um, I grew up on a lot of like Stevie and mm. Michael, and you know what I'm saying, yeah. Earth, Wind, and Fire, uh, Funkadelic, you know what I'm saying, uh, all of that, all that groovy stuff. So I really enjoy that type of music. And when I made the song, I was just in my car with my homie, uh, my homie La Way, and nice. we was just playing beats, and it just, that's what just came out. That's crazy. Yeah. So when I when I write, I don't ever plan nothing out. Only thing I'm planning is what beat I'm gonna mm. play. And yeah. then we just freestyle and everything is built off of a freestyle. You know, we come with the melodies and that's the melody that came out, shout yeah. out to God. Now with that melody, uh, you know, as I mentioned, like the vocals are different this time around with this track. Yeah. So do you feel like that was a natural kind of like vocal range, vocal tone for you? Or do you feel like that was something you kind of had to get uh, comfortable doing? Uh, it's just, it, it was natural. I mean, like the, the song is, is uh, it's not even in like a, it's in between keys. Mm. It's tuned to 432 hertz. So it's like, um, it's like in B flat major, detuned 32 cents. So, yeah. but it sounds good because 432 hertz is like a, a natural harmonic frequency with the earth. Yeah. So it just sounded good. And when I made the song out, it was just, you know, we just taking voice memos and stuff. And then, um, but people who know me, like Mike Will and um, the Ear Drummers, mm. I've been writing a lot of music ever since I started coming around them in 2014, 2015, and it was yeah. a lot of melodic stuff. We just been saving it for the right time. And most of the things I write, I write a lot of hooks. Okay. Like my strong point is hooks and like melodies and flows and stuff like that, that um, have different layers and harmonies and different movements. So that's what I like in music. Yeah. So it's really, it's really satisfying for me to finally be dropping a song where it's like this is this is my type of music that I yeah. really love. Do you, Not that I don't like rap, but I love you know what I'm saying. I love just melody and harmony. Right. Do you feel like it's a natural progression from on God to this, or do you feel like it's something that like it might it might like you know your fans might be like whoa like we didn't know he had this in him. Yeah, of course they're gonna be like we didn't know. <laughs> yeah, they're gonna be like we didn't know he had it. But uh, you know my whole thing is, is we just dropping music, dropping yeah. good music as long as the music is good. It got powerful um and positive intention behind it like mm. we we all the way we all the way confident in um just dropping quality music it's, yeah it's, you know and everyone we played it for we played it for a lot of like we played it for a lot of artists and played for a lot of djs yeah. and a lot of people who are really like legends in the game and they all like man this is this is where you need to go and i'm like i already knew that me <laughs> and awesome. mike already knew that but yeah it's like it's confirmation from the universe yeah I love that you mentioned like frequencies. Uh, it's yeah. it's not something that really gets talked about like when when recording music or like creating yeah. music. How important is that for you? And like, do you really consider that on every track that you? That yeah, you not, especially nowadays, like frequency, like the frequency at which you vibrate, at which you think. Mm. You know, it, it got to be in harmony. 
right? So it got to be in harmony with what you're doing. Everything natural and everything, um, you know, colors have a frequency. Chords have a frequency. Yeah. Fruits have a frequency. Food has frequencies. We're dealing with frequencies that harmonize with each other, mm -hmm. things that go together, not clashing. And it's like, that's my... Um, that's my vibe right now. Just I want to maintain a good mental frequency, spiritual frequency, and physical frequency. Yeah. And operate from that. And you know, because, you know, like, just like a speaker, right? If a speaker is vibrating at a certain frequency, it's gonna vibrate everything around it. So yeah. when we're in a positive mode and a creative mode where we're creating things, it's gonna influence others to do the same and be builders and not yeah. destroyers. Be builders. So. You know, that's, that's, that's all it's about for me, really. And at the same time, like you bring in this this new track, Spend My Days, and, and it's also, it seems more personal, more vulnerable to you. Yeah. Like, so um, is that like something that you've been wanting to kind of release in your music, like being more open about personal relationships like yeah, that? Yeah, we need more love in the music. Absolutely. We need more love in the music. Absolutely. Speaking for myself and, um, you know, there's a lot of, there's a lot of, um, there's just a lot of love and, and, uh, and um and soul that mm. that that we need in music right now and that i need in music right now and i just was like you know i want to do something that's that's like a positive vibe and yeah. just soulful and you know like the way it comes about it was just like man i just made the song yeah and then everyone heard him like oh i love this song <laughs> like all right let's drop it mike was mike mike will was like man i love this song everybody loves this song we're gonna drop this shit. and so that's you know i just listened to the universe do you feel like, did you have a personal challenge with this song at all? It sounds like everything just happened natural, but like, yeah. where do you feel like you got challenged in the writing, recording, releasing of this? I mean, the song's not out yet, but like, just like prepping for the release. Um, I think the only challenge was just like being able to hit that shit. Mm. Like being able to sing that shit every time. <laughs> I like, gotta warm up to do it. Yeah. But it's good because, you know, that's the only challenge for real, <laughs> just being able to perform that, that, that jump. But um, yeah. Everything really did happen naturally, though. Yeah. yeah it's, it's been like, yeah, like this is what's supposed to happen. It's supposed to come out. Right. How does that impact your your performances when you go from something harder, like on God, to like something more mellow, like this track? Um, do you have to really consider like where in the set list this song would be or like how you're going to really like move about the place so you can be ready for something slower or ready for something faster? Yeah, I'm an artist artist. You know what I'm saying? Like. I write all type of music. Yeah. I perform all type of music. I can do every type of beat. I can, I can vote. I can voice every beat. So that's my philosophy. I'm, I'm every style. I can do it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And that's my style is just like being able to switch it up and go in on any beat. Hit you with a melody. Hit you with flows. Hit you with bars. Hit you with clever lines. Mm. Hit you with harmonies. Right. And I do a little production too. You know what I'm saying? So my thing is like, like what Bruce Lee be doing on martial arts. He said, I'm gonna learn every style so that yeah. I never have a weakness and I have only strengths. Nice. You know what I'm saying? So that's my whole thing, like Jeet Kune Do with the music. Right. You're also a designer. You got this shirt that you designed. Yeah, thank you. You designed this right here. Yes, sir. Um, so like, talk to me a little bit about just like being able to be the artist, but also being like a creative like designer like this. Like how does, yeah, how so does that, you I know? Came up, I came up in New York City, like Jersey and New York City designing hand painted, hand drawn clothing and stuff yeah. like that. Um, I met Virgil when I was 16. Oh my gosh. That's he showed so, me like, mad love when love I was a young a young kid, young boy, when R. I went R. to P. Miami. Rest in peace, a legend. When I went to Miami for the first time, he brought me around with him to places Man. and opened my mind up to the possibility of the youth influencing the culture. And that's why I go so hard with everything. Like my visuals, my music, my, the way I dress, the way, the way I design my clothes, yeah. even like visually, even like visually with the album artwork and cover art, like, you know, I want to design my world like the ones before me, like like the Pharrell's and the mm. Virgil's and the Kanye's and yeah. the Michael Jackson's designing the whole world and the whole environment that I'm that I'm that I'm uh, living in. And this is like I put a lot of Asian art into my into mm. my in, my design, like my design uh, DNA. Yeah. So that's real important for me. And I just enjoy it, man. Like I always been an artist, like an artist, artist. Like I looked up to Nego and I looked up to Virgil and Pharrell and Kanye. Yeah. And, you know what I'm saying? Like Murakami and all of these artists. Um, you know, so like 
I just want to do all, everything I can to leave my mark on this earth. And not only like, not only with the music and the art, but just like as a human being, like mm. I want to make sure that people, or that, that when they see me, they see God, they see God's light and that they Love see that. that we bringing people together with the art and that art is love and love is art. God is love, love is God, and we just connecting All the time. people. Yeah. We connecting people from different cultures and different upbringings, different places in the world, and bringing them together on a common frequency because that's what we need. We don't need divisiveness, we don't need separation. We need pride in each other, and we need connection. We need human connection and, yeah. and just you know like blending our blending our resources together and our culture so that we can make the world better. You know what I'm saying? I want to be somebody that stands for that. That's that's dope. Yeah, I mean, you 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 walked into this challenge and thank you. You walked into this challenge and you're making it happen. And it's yes, like, sir. like I mentioned earlier, it's been an amazing couple of years and I feel like it just keeps rising. So yeah, congratulations man. with that. Congratulations with the success so far. Much love, this upcoming bro. single. Thank you thank so you, much. Bro. Thank you.